Welcome to the summit on MidwestSports.net. I'm Joey McWilliams. I am pleased and privileged today to get to talk about sports, and we get to visit now with the new head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University, Coach Tim Kisner. And Coach, first off, it's a privilege to get to visit with you today. Congratulations on the new gig. Thank you, Joey. I'm excited to be here, and in this crazy time in the world, I'm, I'm excited to be talking some sports. Oh, you and me both. I, it's It's been a couple weeks since I've had a chance to visit with anyone about sports in what I've just called the, the time of no sports. So, man, I'm, I'm glad to get to talk about it now. Well, let's talk some basketball. And the way things are going right now, we don't know when or what's going to happen, but I would imagine it won't be that long before uh, you guys are going to be back on the court again. I'm hoping for that. So, you know, in talking basketball right now, you, you've had a pretty lengthy and a very solid career in basketball both uh, you, with your playing career and also coaching as well. You spent the last two seasons at John Brown University. Talk about your stint there. Yeah, I've been very fortunate the last two years. Uh, walked into a really good situation at John Brown. Uh, did not know uh, the head coach there, Jason Beshto, when got the job. I uh, was fortunate to be introduced to him uh, from Nations of Coaches, which is an amazing group doing a great thing for the Lord. Uh Pete Weary introduced us, and uh, so took the job in August, and uh, we had a veteran group right away uh, with two All-Americans and Jake Cottle and Josh Bowling, and we had a good year the first year, and we had a lot of guys coming back, and uh, this last year, we're super excited about our team, and you know, it, and it, I think it went even better than we expected, uh, being 28-5, and five, and we were super pumped, headed to the national tournament, and uh Got the call on that Thursday morning that uh, it was shutting down. And by Friday, guys were off campus and, and this whole new world had started. But uh, we have loved our time at John Brown and Siloam Springs community. Um, it has become a home for us. Uh, our, we have two sons who are eight and four and uh, really got involved here and met a lot of great people. But we've had amazing amazing players and amazing relationships with those players and are super thankful to the lord for this opportunity that we've had here 28 wins this past season a top 10 program as well and i know the 28 wins is a school record well you know you're moving across conference now in the sooner athletic conference so i would imagine at least one thing you already have some files put together on the teams you're going to be meeting up when you get in the conference portion of the slate next season Yes, that is very true. Uh, you know, the the one positive here is that it's going to be uh, familiarity with the league and, and the other schools in the league. Um, it, it, it makes me laugh. So we, we've played Oklahoma City six times in the last two years. <laughs> so we, we've we played them. Uh, my first year we played them. We lost to them at the buzzer uh, in the conference tournament final. And then we were able to beat them here the first round of the conference tournament this year. And uh you know, it's been a huge rival uh, for us here the last two years. We, we've played uh, two overtime games, two other one-point games. Uh, we've just had some classic battles uh, in this rivalry over the last two years. So to be jumping ship to the other side is, is a little <laughs> bit awkward uh, at times. Uh, but uh, I'm excited uh, to be joining Oklahoma City and the history and tradition of their program Uh and the guys coming back, I'm super excited about the guys coming back that, that we have. No doubt. And, and you know, that, that was actually one of the things I was going to uh, ask you about even in that. I mean, the, the last time that uh, you saw Oklahoma City University, you were celebrating a, a win with that 80-65 to 65 win in, in the SAC tournament this season. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been a good, a good run for you. But you're right. It's, it's a, a quality program with a lot of history. And you, know, you walk in the building there and you're playing in, in, in Abe Lemon's yeah. arena. Yeah, no question. No question. You know, you look up in the rafters and, and you got to kind of move your head from side to side so you can see them all <laughs> and, uh, and read them all. So, you know, you immediately you walk in there and it's just a historical tradition and, and not just men's basketball, you know, many programs there. Um, and that's obviously extremely exciting to be joining a place that not only has had success, but that there's an expectation of success and there's a standard of success that that they've had over over the number of years. And and to be able to join a historical program and to lead it is obviously exciting and, and very appreciative of that. 
Speaking now with Coach Tim Kisner, the new head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University. And Coach, it's a it's a team within that that you've been a part of. Now, the last two seasons in the top fifteen in scoring defense at John Brown, is that something that then will translate for you to Oklahoma City University? Is that part of, of what you bring then to the table as the new head man? Yeah, I really hope so. You know, we've we've been fortunate here, uh, put in a new system uh, with Coach Best's blessing uh, two years ago. And, uh, you know, it's been really good for us. It fit our system and it, it's it's different. It's, it's a little bit uh, – will make you play differently against us. And uh, we've had a lot of success with it. And uh, But, you know, saying that, we've had some really smart guys and we've had some really good defenders that have really helped. Um, so – we, I'm trusting that that's going to be what we do. I'm trusting we're going to be really good defensively. That's going to allow us to um, be good defensively, which will create offensive for us, and and trusting that, that that will be part of the process down the road here come August. Coach, let me let me go ahead and, and uh, follow up on that in, then because it, the the system itself I know is a big part, but you mentioned you, you were able to have some some good players to be able to run that system and and be able to be effective that way. Uh, you know that that's can be a blessing and it, and it doesn't always come into play. So is is the system itself enough that that you can be able to to teach that to to a different group of players? Yeah, it's a great question, and uh, I think as a coach you always wonder that. You know, uh, but I'm confident. You know, we, we've We've ran this system when I was at Lake State, when I was at Fresno Pacific, and now at John Brown, and it's been successful wherever we've been uh, with with different guys and, and different talent, and um, and I, I'm confident it's going to be successful at Oklahoma City with uh, the guys we have coming back. You know, we got some really good guys coming back with Sean Coleman and Eddie Smith and uh, Keelan Claiborne. You know, those, those guys were are really good players and and are excited to get started with them and work with them, and I, I have very much confidence that we're going to be really successful defensively. Have you had a chance to talk to your team yet, uh, either as a group or, you know, individually, I'm sure social distancing makes it uh, a challenge to get to do that, but uh, in, in whatever form it is right now, have you had a chance to visit with them? Yeah, I have uh, twice actually. And it's, uh, it's obviously, as you said, a different world. Uh, we had a team meeting via zoom uh, on Wednesday and then uh I did individual FaceTime meetings with each one of those guys yesterday for about 30, 35 minutes, which was really good to be able to sit down with them and get to know them and, and chat with them. Uh, so obviously, you know, you play against guys and, and you get this uh, premeditated thought of who guys are uh, when you're scouting them and watching them and then just be able to visit with them personally yesterday was, was really neat and uh, was really good for me to uh, understand them a little bit better. In, in your playing career, and, and you had, a, again, a, a lengthy playing career, both collegiately, professionally as well, uh, you left Central Michigan University and, and still uh, high in the, on the list, scoring, uh, assists, steals. So that's really kind of an all-around type player, Coach, uh, and with uh, both offense and defense here, if you're racking up those steals as well. What kind of player do you see yourself as? You know, it's, it's funny because I think you always think of yourself, for me at least, a little bit less than what you were. Uh, but as you <laughs> but as you get older, you somehow get get a lot better uh, as the time <laughs> as the time goes on. Uh, but uh, you know, I was I was a tough nosed gritty player, uh, and was thankful to play in the Central Michigan program where where we had a lot of hard nosed gritty type kids, and uh, you know, we were we were lucky and uh appreciative of the opportunity to to win a mac championship there my senior year and you know you'd look at that team and there's a lot of guys that are now in coaching or played professionally and uh i think it just speaks to the nature of, of the type of guy we had and those lifelong relationships so you know i was hard-nosed gritty player that you know understood the game uh i was one of those kids that was fortunate to have his dad as his first coach and uh and is still coaching me today uh so very very fortunate to that and was able to understand the game at a young age and and that really drew me to not only the game but to my dad and uh so that helped me become a good player and, and set forth on, on my coaching career at a young age well coaches as we wrap up our time here you know it's 
really not going to be that long, I believe, until we get to see some basketball again and get to see players taking the court. The season will be right around the corner. And again, who knows what's going to be going on at, at that point in time with other seasons trying to get in. We could have a massive crossover schedule uh, with all kinds of sports taking place at one point in time yeah. as the fall approaches. But when the Stars fans come to Abe Lemons Arena to get to watch this uh, this team next season, what kind of team are they going to see take the court? What uh, What is the Tim Kisner era going to look like? Yeah, we want to have a culture that's that's first class. We want to have a culture that uh, is going to play extremely hard and be really competitive all the time. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna run up and down the court. We're gonna we're gonna play fast, but we're gonna play under control and be fundamental. And I think we're gonna play an exciting style. Uh, I think people will like to see us, and I think we're gonna be difficult to play against. So I think every coach says that, hoping that's the case. Um, but I, I like our chances of being able to do that and being able to do that pretty quickly. So. I'm confident going forward, and uh, I think if you come to a game and you watch us, you're, you're going to say, wow, this is this is a pretty good team, and it's exciting to watch. All right. Well, I do look forward to seeing that, Coach, and look forward to getting to see one of your teams take the court there at Oklahoma City University. Coach Tim Kisner, the new head men's basketball coach at OCU. Coach, thank you very much for taking time with us today on the Summit. Thanks, Joey. I really appreciate you having me. I invite everyone to like and share this video today. Please subscribe to the channel Midwest Sports Net, and we are looking forward to continuing talking sports during this time right now. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day, and thanks again for watching.